praises to Yah Bashim Yah Shai. I'm gonna try something new here. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I'm gonna talk about COVID nineteen. From my understanding, this isn't medical advice. This is my understanding from my own notes. Maybe some people might find it useful. This is a COVID. Oh, let's try this again. This is a COVID nineteen virus. It has what they call a spike protein on it. Uh, a spike protein. Let me rub that out and do it again. A spike protein is like a special key or a special way of, of puncturing the cellular wall so that this code can come inside of it. Let's just draw it like a let's just draw it like that. That's the spike protein. Inside of the human body, this is your let's just say that's your body. I wish I could change the colour, but I'm not used to this app. We have receptors called ACE2 receptors and they um, they actually help regulate the amount of it's called the REAAS system and that actually helps regulate the amount of uh, salt and sugar in the body why is this important? I'm going to stuff why is this important the reason why it's important is because black people have a lower number of these receptors which means we tend to retain more salt and sugar now the reasons for that are said because we come from hot climates so um, we sweat more and so if we if we lose a lot of salts and sugars from our body so we tend to receive those the upshot of this is that there are less receptors in black people than in white and Asian people. Less of these receptors. What well, does less of these receptors means? It means that there are less of places where COVID-19 can attach to to invade the body. Um, typically, what will happen... Let me rub this one out there. What will happen is that COVID-19 will come along and attach to lock into one of these receptors there and then what it does is it shoots its uh some of its rna which is like a i wish i could change colors how do i change colors um, it shoots some of its rna into our system and once the rna gets into our system it 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 tricks the body into the into re, instead of re, reproducing its own cells it tricks the body to reproduce more covid19 cells so these these viruses replicate in the body and, so, and after a while you've got alert a number of more COVID-19 cells floating around and what happens with those well they also attack um, attach onto more ACE2 receptors and the cycle repeats now I'm trying to remember how the vaccine works from my research as to how the vaccine works let's delete this all this and just leave the receptor, the ACE2 receptor that's on the system and in the body. So what happens? How does the vaccine work? Well, from what I've been hearing and actually on the news as well, the vaccine is essentially a virus because it has its own um, uh, shell. Now, its shell's a little bit different. Its shell kind of, it's a lipid layer, which is a small layer of flat fat but it still is able to penetrate the cellular wall and it has its own code. Uh, it has its own code inside. Its own code, which is a little R mRNA strain, which is, stands for messenger RNA. It's kind of like DNA, but it just, it doesn't actually change the DNA of the host, as I've been told, but it does um, um, reprogram the body to, to, um, to produce other cells so when this when this uh particular uh vaccine or i call it a virus is introduced what happens is that this new rna i wonder if i can change the color like that yeah okay change the color yeah let's do that for that okay so when this covid19 rna comes into the comes into the body um, 
Right. And remember that, uh, okay, when it comes into the body, it will. God, I'm not used to these tools. It's me trying to do everything on my phone. Let's rub this out here. When this particular form of RNA comes into the body, uh, let's just rub this all out here. This is that green line is your body. I'll draw that again. This is your body. Yeah. This RNA comes into your body like that. How it penetrates the cellular wall is not quite known, but what it will do is it will reprogram. It will reprogram the um, body to now produce not ACE2 receptors, as I may have previously said, but the same spike proteins that we were um, seeing before. So now when that RNA comes in, your body starts producing spike proteins that actually are the same, that look the same as the spike proteins on top of um, the C19 virus. So now this is, these are expressed on your cells. Your cell looks like, so, and and then the idea is that um, after a number of different processes, I think the T cells and cyclone cells, you just you, your body will start to produce some antibodies, so that your body will start to say, "Oh, what are all of these um, weird-looking spike proteins that are appearing?" Before they only used to appear on on the COVID nineteen, um, on the COVID on conventional vaccines, there were just inject you with a number of different um, um i don't know spike proteins so your body would recognize these spike proteins as a foreign element and start trying to um fight against them but now what they're doing is they're using mrna to reprogram your body to to produce the same things and um, to you're now your body's expressing them as part of your own system and now you're going to get some antibodies that are going to be attaching or well they're saying that they're saying that antibodies won't actually attack the ones that are expressed from your body but i don't see why not but they're saying that the, the number of new spike proteins that your body's now going to produce are going to cause antibody an antibody response and your body's going to start um sending out antibodies to f to fight against the spike proteins that's but the of from what i've just drawn here one of the obvious dangers is that your antibodies are going to start attacking your own cells the other danger that i can identify is if you remember from before we had our own ace2 receptors your body might even start to your the spike proteins might on one cell might actually start to attach on your body might start start to attach to receptors in another part of your body um, and start mixing in different parts, different bodily functions with each other and attaching to each other. So it's all kind of weird. I hope I've explained that um, properly. Um, so the, your, the, the vaccine doesn't actually destroy any of the COVID-19 that may be in your system. What it does is it actually produces more proteins that look like COVID-19, more spike proteins that look like COVID-19, so that your body starts to um, send antibodies to attach to those spike proteins. But the, the thing that a lot of people are worried about is what about the spike proteins that are a part of your body? Won't your body start to attack those? And then, and then you'll have what they call an autoimmune res response, which is where the body starts to attack itself. Um, like, and these are, I think there's autoimmune diseases like lupus. Um, uh, I can't remember other other autoimmune diseases, but lupus is one that I know of um, off the top of my head. But there's other diseases where your body starts to attack itself. So there's, there's issues um, which haven't really been fully addressed as, I, as far as I can see with the virus. Now, I was watching a YouTube video and they said, well, this scenario... Um, this scenario won't happen. The body, won't, the antibodies won't attack um, the spike proteins that the 
that the new vaccine is causing the body to create. But I don't see why not. Because if this if this new if these new spike proteins which the body is is creating as been as they've been reprogrammed by the vaccine stroke virus if they are supposed to alert the body's own antibodies to the presence they there's no reason why um, the body would be alerted to this type of protein uh, and and then only attack those I can't see any logical reason why it'll only attack the COVID-19 the proteins expressed in the COVID-19 virus and not the COVID-19 um, the spike proteins expressed in the body's cells um, as reprogrammed by the vaccine there's no reason why it should work on one and not the other um, it doesn't make sense to say okay we will teach the body to recognize the spike proteins to attack um, by expressing them on the surface of the cells in the body and then and then those and then those taught antibodies will only therefore go and ex um, attack the cells in those in any kind of um, invaded um, invasive covid-19 virus it doesn't make sense to me um and there's also the the added problem with the these cells that are now are now expressing these proteins, why won't they attach to ACE2 receptors? Um, and as you've maybe, uh, maybe I've glossed over, um, it seems like um, black and Asian minority ethnic BAME people have less ACE2 receptors due to the fact that they needed less, they don't want to um, regulate salt and sugar in their system so much um, genetically or over, from an evolutionary perspective where they were growing up in hot climates. So they're actually less susceptible to COVID-19 anyway. So, um, yeah, that is, that is basically the essence of it. The, the, the antibodies occur um, when the body's overwhelmed by psych, psych, Cytones, cytones, something like cytones. The cytone storm creates the antibodies, which is when you first start to feel sick, is when the body starts to produce um, a hell of a lot of cytones. It's, a, it's kind of like the body's alarm system. But um, yeah, there are major concerns with the COVID 19 vaccine that I haven't seen proper answers to. All right, I hope that's um, edifying.